Yeah, hello guys. I hope you are doing well. And this is uh, a guide on how you can log in into Microsoft Office 365. Yeah, only the step by step guide. Yeah, so to log in into a Microsoft Office 365, you have just to open a browser. A browser can be Chrome, can be uh, a Mozilla Firefox, can be a Microsoft Edge. Yeah, it can also be an Internet Explorer. All those browsers can help you. Yeah, after opening your browser, you come and uh, where you write website and you type www.office dot com and you place enter and then you get here where you have uh, a welcome to office and you are given a place where you can write uh, an email account or account so you place sign in you click on sign in after placing sign in you will be uh, given where you can type your account your microsoft account yeah let's for example use this one this is microsoft account yeah uh, place next and you are given where to type your password and you write a password correctly and then you place or you click on sign in yeah, once you are propped with this uh, short message stay sign in yeah as an advice, you have to stay signed in when the uh, the device you are using is your own, and once you of uh, you uh, the device that you are using is not yours, it's better you press you it's better you click on no. But once the device is yours, you can click yes to stay signed in, and then after you click on yes. Yeah, you are now getting into the office six five. You see here we have good morning. Yeah, this means that you are, you already have already got in the office three six five. Yeah, office three six five. As you see, it has many applications, and every application here will be discussed later. And once you see, you want to see all applications in Office 365, you play, you come here and you place on the nine dots, nine dots. And once you click on nine dots, you see there is Outlook, there is Microsoft Word. This is Word, which is, can be used online. We have PowerPoint, we have SharePoint, we have Office Way have Yammer and Stream. We have uh, OneDrive. Yeah, this office gives you uh, an opportunity yeah, to access the, this OneDrive and this OneDrive it's a cloud storage which has one terabyte. It's one terabyte storage. Yeah, this OneDrive is very important because a place where you can store many many files and folders and videos yeah, because it has a very yeah, large uh, large storage, one terabyte. One terabyte is very huge, it's very big. And I remember that a Google Drive has 15, only 15 gigabyte. But one drive that you, have, or that you are accessing here, it has one terabyte, one terabyte, 1000 gigabyte. You also have Excel. We also have OneNote, 
we have Microsoft Teams, we have Microsoft Forms, yeah, these forms uh, that are using to yeah, to make a survey, uh, to make a quiz once you are teaching for students. And uh, once you want to see the additional apps, you can click on all apps. But in summary, these are many apps that we have in the office, the Office 365. And uh, this Excel and this Word, this PowerPoint can be accessed online and you can also copy uh, your things written in Excel or Word offline and then you type, you, you copy them, them in offline, online to, yeah, for, to, for them to be shared uh, with your friends or students uh, if it's uh, an important document to share with them. And, they are, and those Word, Excel, and PowerPoint allow the collaboration. You can collaborate online in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Yeah, so I uh, think this is how we can, this is uh, a step by step on how you can log into the Office 65 once you have your lab or Microsoft account. Yeah, uh, and with the data account, you can access those applications. And you have seen uh, at the beginning that you go with uh, you open first a browser and you go step by step by opening the Office 365 like we did here. For those who want to install this Office, 365 in their computers you can you came here and uh, click on install once you click on install office yeah you get office 365 apps other install option you can download it here and install new computer instead of using the old one you can use this 365 as it is very important and updated office in your computer yeah, so, yeah, dear friends and uh, educators, this is how you can use the Microsoft account that you have been given. And it is very important to use it in uh, your daily activities by storing your your folders and files, videos, and so on in OneDrive, or by using this Word on Rhine, Excel on Rhine, PowerPoint on Rhine, and uh, the inbox of this account will be uh, found in the Outlook. Yeah, so later we will see uh, how we can use every application here, how you can use Outlook, how you can use OneDrive to store files and folders and videos, how we can use Microsoft Word online, how we can use Excel online, how we can use PowerPoint online, how we can use OneNote online, SharePoint, yeah, Microsoft Teams, how it can be accessed here, uh, Microsoft Forms, how it can be uh, used to create a survey, to create uh, uh, quizzes, uh, other things of the same of the kind. Mm, how to use yeah the office way for storytelling. Story this office way is very important in making stories. How to use Yamma and Stream. Yeah, it's very important to know how if app here act or how every app, uh, apps here works yeah so yeah let's stop by here and a bit later we'll start seeing how all apps here are working one by one and uh, i think it will be a very big knowledge for uh, accessing this microsoft for those who have who have for those account Microsoft account, enjoy and start 
using them by logging in Office 365 by typing in your browser www.office.com